This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank, Slovacek Sausage, Germania Insurance, TX Burger, and RV Source. Well, it's time for the TX Burger Burger of the Week, and this week we are in Fort Worth at Fred's for a burger I'm told is very fiery. So check it out. In the cultural district of Fort Worth, you'd expect to find some highfalutin food joints, but not Fred's. It's about as down home as you can get. I was here before everybody got here, and I'll be here when they're all gone. <laughs> Terry Chandler is known in these parts as the outlaw chef. How's everything? Great, great. Glad you're enjoying it. And his parents started Fred's when they purchased the old Ken's Cafe in 1978. And in case you're wondering who Fred was, well, he was the family dog. I joined the Marine Corps uh, to get away from this place because I never wanted to ever work in a restaurant ever because I had to grow up here washing dishes and whatnot and uh, here I am. <laughs> Terry embraces his lunch spot legacy because since taking over after his years in the service, the place has more of a, should we say, flamboyant feel? I put a lot of thought and effort into making this place all things Texas. Well, we're here to try a burger that's said to have a little bite. Woo! Needed that. I came up with the Diablo burger, I guess it was about in 1996, and I just wanted something, a signature burger that was spicy, that was reflective of, of, the, of the wild spirit of the town, and so we came up with the Diablo burger. In a kitchen that feels like an inferno, we met an angel, Angel Mota that is. He's been here 15 years, and this get-up isn't something he just wore for TV. This is how you dress everything? Yeah, this is where I dress everything. Yes, sir. Because you didn't know we were coming. No, I didn't know. <laughs> I've kind of passed the reins off onto him. He does a great job. Uh, the customers love him. He's, he's an icon at this place. First up, a half-pound patty of 80-20 ground beef thrown on a grill full of greasy goodness. A little greasy? Yeah, that's a private. While it cooks, Angel prepares the bun. And after a few fancy flips, on goes the mustard, pickles, lettuce, and tomatoes. Then he turns up the heat. We got some chipotle butter over here. Chipotle, chipotle brown butter, yeah. Whoa. It's got some charny beer, butter, and uh, onions. It's a good, 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 good look. We're gonna make some. You might not want to get too close to the grill here. <laughs> That's the best. We're gonna. Oh, it stinks the nostrils. Uh, as soon as the hot stuff is really hot, it goes straight on the burger. Yeah, right. we're gonna have some flavor all over. <laughs> Get that flavor all yeah, over. Yeah, all over. Throw on some Swiss cheese and. Ta da! Ta -da! Put it on the window. And order's up. Diablo's ready. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you very <laughs> much. All right. Here we go. Here's the Diablo burger, Shane. Awesome. Thank you, Jimmy. Yes, Appreciate sir. it, sir. Enjoy. Look at that Diablo burger. It is just stacked high. Just look at it. The chipotle butter is just coming out and it smells incredible. Just coming at you with all sorts of smoky flavors. Now when it comes to a Diablo burger cooked by an angel, there's one question. How does it taste? You know where we're going right now. Into the fire. After one bashful bite, it was obvious I had something beyond compare in my boca. That is beefy. Woo! And it's got a bite. Is that pretty good? <laughs> that is a darn good burger right there. It's hot. <laughs> it's really hot. What's nice about Chipotle is it's not like jalapenos. It doesn't sit there and burn. It just kind of stings you and sticks around for a little while. But it's so smoky. I've eaten all the burgers all around, but this absolutely has to be the most fantastic hamburger in Fort Worth. They're hot and warm and big. But when it comes to the Diablo burger, there's quite a bit of Diablo in there. That chipotle butter really gives you a good little bite. My lips are still kind of burning. Then you got that thick patty of Texas beef that Angel cooks to give it a nice little crunch, but a nice finish right in the middle. Hard to imagine a burger named Diablo could taste so heavenly. We go out of our way to come up with original, innovative things to create using Texas inspired ingredients, recipes, and classic Texas dishes. 
we have come to the gates of Fort Worth for Diablo Burger, which is going down. It does sting you, yeah. Yeah, drink lots of water. Back on to the burger here. Sure. Oh, yeah. The Diablo Burger at Fred's in downtown Fort Worth. Well worth a fiery stop right here on the Texas Bucket List.